getting situated. All right. So you're going to probably have more homework now. All right. Now, solving these equations. All right. Very, very important. Question number one, we're going to do one through 12 right off the bat. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to distribute first. And some of you had problems with the distributive property, so we're going to talk about it. What is 2 times n? 2n. So then it would be 2n. Then 2n times negative 4, what would that be? Negative, negative 8. 8. Equals 16. Now, it's a two-step equation. So how do I undo a minus 8? You're going to add 8. All right? When you add 8, you're going to get 2n equals what? 24. 2n equals 24. 21. And then undoing multiplication, we would what? Divide. Divide, the Divide by 2. So you would have n equals what? 12. You would have n equals 12. You would have n equals 12. Now, notice last week what I had I made you do. If it was 2n minus 8 equals 16, I would make you put plus 8 plus 8. Then you would say 2n is equal to 24. Then divide by 2, divide by 2, n equals 12. I'm trying to explain to you now that I'm expecting you to understand that step. I'm expecting you to be able to tell me what 16 plus 8 is. All right, so is it really necessary now for you to put down plus 8 plus 8 anymore? No, no you should know that. All right, is it necessary for me to put divided by 2, divided by 2? No, you should know that also. All right, am I understanding me? This is what you have to have right here. Notice how it's going down in that direction. All right, so just to make sure, we're going to take a look at question number 6. All right, so who's going to do, or number 2, I'm sorry. Who's going to do the distributive property for me? Tell me. Um, 6y. Plus Beautiful. 6y plus 54 is equal to 24. Now again, we're going to practice without a calculator today. Now, how do I undo addition? So now everybody has to tell me what's 24 minus 54? Negative 30. And then we would have to do what? Divide by 6. Divide by six. So it's negative 5. So y equals negative 5. That's not bad at all. all right. I've seen my triangles. Yep. And then again, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, this is how your math should flow. All right? That's how it should flow. All right? I don't want it off to the side. Some of you write going left to right. We're going down the page, guys. Trust me, I don't even care. I'm not going to look right now. I'm saying on question number three, that's what you're going to do. You're going to go down the page. All right, you're going to skip a line. All right, I don't want all your work squished together. All right, we're not saving paper. All right, you skip a line. And now we're going to do number three. And now, Diesel, I want you to do the distributive property for number three. So you would rewrite it? Tell me. Rupert, um... Yeah, but go ahead and do the distributive property for me first. Okay, so 7 times 7 plus 7m. So 7m. Then 7 times 7 Beautiful. 7m plus 49 is equal to 35. I like it. Thomas, what do I have to do next? Yes, say it. Yes, 35 minus 49.
We're doing 35 minus 49. Tell me what that is. He's working on it right now. He can do it. And those of you guys who got it under control, just go ahead and put it down and then put the final answer in. What'd you get, Thomas? And I put that up like that, guys. So if you want to continue on number four, give it a shot while we wait on Tom. Come on, Thomas, what do we got? First of all, tell me, are you adding them or subtracting? So now, come on, just visualize with me, all right? So 49 minus 35, come on. Yes, 14. Now you got to be careful. You got to tell me, is it positive 14 or negative 14? Well, it is positive if I do 35 or 49 minus 35, but my original remember was 35 minus 49. You see why it's negative, right, Thomas? All right, so it's negative. All right. Now, final answer, Thomas. So what is M equal? Yes, say it. Come on. Divided by How do I undo this multiplication? Tell me what fourteen divided by seven is, buddy. That's right. Now is it positive or negative? Thank you. All right. Don't worry, Thomas. Just keep going. All right. You know the answer. All right. So that was question number three. Now I'm on question number four. I'm going to have Miss Pliego do number four. All right. I want you to distribute for me, Miss Pliego. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good job, girl. Wow, very good. How's that feel? Good, girl. Good. Come on, that's what I'm expecting out of you every day. No more of this wimpy stuff. All right. Now, what I want to do here now is I, I want to try to show you something because I, I want to make it easier for you. All right, does everybody see, um, and I really need your attention up here. This says one third times C minus four. I don't really feel like working with fractions. Everybody agree with me? How can I get rid of one third? Nope. Three. Multiply by three. Now what I want you to do on this problem right here is I want you to write that problem down, and then I want you to put a times three and a times three over here. Come on, come on, stay with me. Now what happens to the three and the one third? What do they do to each other? Cancel. Yep, they cancel out. So now you have C minus four equals what? Negative four. Equals what? I said what's three times 12 and you're giving me negative four C. What is it? Tell me, please. 36. Beautiful. C minus 4 equals 36. Everybody see that, right? And now, how do I get rid of minus 4? Add 4. Do you agree? So in this case, my answer is what? C equals 40. Yeah, C equals 40. All right.
Yeah, but I, I can show you the the frac. It's it's yeah, it's kind of hard, isn't it? The fractions when you distribute a one third. Yeah, because four times one third is four thirds. Do you agree with that? Yeah. So it's kind of a little bit harder to work with the fractions. Do you agree with me on this? All right. I think I want you. This is how I want you to deal with the fractions. All right. So number six. All right. Now I'm going to pull number six down here because I want to show you something again. All right. Um, let me think here. Are you okay with, let's go ahead and let's do this one by distributing the fraction. You hear me just in case you forget. All right, we're going to do it just like you said. All right. All right, let's do this. Hold on one second. I'm going to, I'm going to paste it here though, because I want to give myself plenty of room. All right, so here we go. I'm going to pull number six down here. I don't want you talking. Uh, so if I were to distribute. It would be 250. That's correct. And then you'll. Yeah. And then. No, it would be 8 over 5. Oh, yeah. Now, how did I get 8 over 5? You, uh, I, 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 you 2 times 4. Then. Yes, right? So I'm going to come off to the side here and just review with everybody. 2 fifths times 4 over 1. Oh, yeah. Does everybody agree with that now? Yeah. See how that's 8 over 5? Now, remember, I'm kind of reviewing your fractions with you, so if you're not sure, let me know. What? The numerator. So this would be 4 over 1. No. No. What? Could we do it the other way? The way that we do Yeah, but here you're going to have to multiply by the reciprocal, so it's still a little bit tricky also. All right, I'm going to show you both ways. I'm going to show you both ways. You, you can choose whichever way you want. Because I get the other way. Right? I'm going to show you how to do it this way too. All right? So look right here. Now I have to subtract 8 fifths. Subtract 8 fifths. I want everybody to put that on your paper just because I want you to see it. Now I'm having to go 6 minus 8 fifths. Well, how many, think of it this way, you have 6 pizzas, cut them into fifths, how many slices are you going to have if you have 6 pizzas? 30. So I want you to thank you. All right? That is 30 over 5 minus 8 over 5. Everybody agreeing with me on that? So what's 30 over 5 minus 8 over 5? Tell me. 22 over 5. So now I have 2 fifths B is equal to 22 over 5. Is everybody agreeing with this? Come on now, Thomas. You've got to keep up with me. I mean it. Now how do I get rid of 2 fifths again? Multiply by the? Right, multiply by the reciprocal. So this would be 5 over 2 times 5 over 2. You agree with this? And what's ca canceling with 5? Right? So B is equal to what? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. B is equal to what? 11. Yeah, because the 5s cancel. So B is equal to 11. Is everybody okay with that? Now, I want everybody to write it down one more time. We're going to do this problem again. All right, this time we're going to do what I refer to as a shortcut. All right, so here we go. Let's write it again, and let me show you the shortcut, exactly what I mean. All right, let's do the shortcut now. Now, when I'm doing the shortcut here, uh-oh. When I'm doing the shortcut, all right, how do I get rid of a fraction? Now, I really want you to concentrate on what I'm showing you because I think this is much easier than doing all that work. All right, I think you're absolutely right. It's easier. So we can do 5 over 2. Does everybody see that? Over here, 5 over 2. Does everybody see that? Come on, Carter, stay with me, please. Now what happens to these 5s? And so I'm left with b plus 4 equals, what's 6 divided by 2 times 5? <coughs> and now what do I do from there? You add, you add oh, yeah, yeah. Subtract 4, right? If I subtract 4, b equals what? 
Notice, what can you tell me about my answers? They're the same. Exactly the same. So does it really matter? No. No, but you see what I'm saying? I don't like those fractions. All right. Now, because you guys are smart, and, and that was an excellent observation, I want to go back to some of the previous problems and show you something. Please watch. Look at number one. Now, instead of distributing, what could I do on number one instead of distribute? Nope. Come on, someone who's thinking, what could I do? Yeah, yeah, you could do the reciprocal, but this is just times two, right? So how can I get rid of times two? Divide by two. So n minus four equals what? Eight. And now what? Plus four. N equals what? Can you see the same answers? Everybody see how it's the same answer? Do you agree with me on that? Do you agree that's kind of a nice way to do that? Right, which one's quicker? The one we just did. All right, so one more example. Let's look at number two. What can I do first? I can distribute or I can just do what? I can divide by six. So y plus nine equals what? Four. And now what do I do? Come on. Minus nine. Minus nine. So y equals what? Good job, kiddo. Do you everybody see it's the same answer? Tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm showing you right now. All right. If you forget, you can just distribute, right? But it does make it much easier. So let's look at number three. What can I do on number three, guys? Divide by seven. So now I have 5 equals m plus 7. Now what? Minus 7. So what's 5 minus 7? Does everybody agree? How, look how simple that is. Is that nice, guys? Right. I like that. I like that. All right. So now let's take a look at question number 7. All right. I'm going to pull 7 down, okay? Because I want to I wanna make sure we're right. Well, actually, I'm going to do this. Do you have to write the triangle thing up? No, you don't have to, but that's just how it should look. All right, so I'm going to pull 7, 8, 9 just to make sure we're good. All right, let me pull 7, 8, 9 right down here. All right, here we go. So what am I going to do for number 7? Come on, how do I solve number 7 quickly? No, 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 no. I'm talking about this right here. I want everybody to look now. I don't want to make mess you up. See that fraction? Reciprical. Multiply by the reciprocal. All right. So what's the reciprocal there? The reciprocal is 8 over 3. Exactly. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 8 over 3. So I'm going to multiply this by 8 over 3. And if I multiply this by 8 over 3, what happens? They cancel. Does everybody agree? So now I need, because we're not doing calculators, what's 15 divided by 3? 5. Times 8. 40. Does everybody see how this is just 40 equals z minus 5? Am I good with you? Do you understand yeah. what I'm doing? I was just getting crazy. And the final answer then is? Negative, or not negative, 45. 45. So z, it's all right, man. Everybody's getting back in the swing of things. You're going to make a mistake here and there. Z equals 45. Now, you got to tell me now, guys. Come on, we're getting to the end of the semester now. Are, are you happy with that explanation? You understand that? Miss Pliego, you doing all right? You're doing so good. Girls? Boys? Thomas, you okay with me? All right, let's check out 8 now. All right, same principle for 8. What am I going to multiply by? By 10 over 9. Very good. So I'm going to put 10 over 9. I'm going to put 10 over 9. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the answer is this time. I need somebody to tell me what 10 ninths times 18 is. Tell me. Wow. 20. Brilliant. 20. Okay. Now, I'm just saying, if you're not seeing 20, you've got to let me know. Do you get 20? Good for you. 20. So here we go. I want you to say this number right here. What's that number? Uh-oh. Not that number. This number. What's that number? 
And then I want you to see the division bar means divide. Do you agree with that? So I did 18 divided by 9. What's that? And then 2 times 10. Yes, now you're good. You're with me now, right? So try to do the division first if it works out, then multiply. Leighton, are you good with this? Um, yeah. So you would just divide by the denominator. Divide first, okay. then multiply. So my final answer now we can say is x equals what, guys? What? Come on, man. I'm not interested in jokes right now. 21. Thank you. x equals 21. All right. Yosef, you ready? Now, I want someone to tell me what fraction point two is. 20%. What's the fraction? Again, you're not listening. Shh, no one's talking to you anymore. What's the fraction? Point two. Someone else, tell me. Tell me. Two over ten. But now instead of saying two over ten, I want you to reduce it to one fifth. Now, again, here's what I'm asking. Girls in the front, do you understand how that's one fifth? You're allowed to say no. You're good. Right here, this row. Yeah. You guys know where one fifth yeah. came from. Yeah. Ian, yeah. You know? Don't yes. tell me a story now. I do. I do. Do. do you understand where point two became one fifth? Do you know that? All right. So one fifth parentheses v minus five equals negative one. So how do I get rid of one fifth? Multiply by what is the reciprocal? Five. five. That's right. You're multiplying by five. Times five. Those cancel. V minus five equals. What's negative one times five? Negative five. Negative five. Plus five? Plus five? Yes. Your last test grade. Zero. V equals zero. Thomas, you in the game? All right, Thomas. Here we go. I'm finding number 10 now. All right, let's go back and find number 10. 10 through 12. Here we go. Oh, there they are right there. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is kind of annoying now. All right, here we go. Now, I really want your attention here. How do I undo the multiplication? Divide. Divide. So now look, please. I'll write this on your paper, and then let's talk about it. I'm dividing by 4.5. I'm dividing by 4.5. Yosef, are you with me? Come on, I'm already on number 10. So now I'm left with x plus 3 equals... Now, this 9.9 .9 divided by 4.5, I don't like the decimals. Does everybody agree that is the, that's right, thank you. Move it to the right once. So that's the same as 99 over 45. Now, what happens, yep, by what number? What goes into 99 and 45? Nine. Nine, exactly. So that reduces to what? 11 over 11 over 5. There we go. 11 over 5. So far so good? All right, so everybody's got to put 11 over 5. Now I have to subtract what? 3. Subtracting 3. So minus 3. Minus 3. These guys cancel, right? So now you have three pizzas. You cut them into five. How many slices do you have? How many slices do you have? Come on, ask my, answer my question. You have three pizzas. You cut them into fifths. How many slices do you have? Fifteen. Fifteen. That's why three is the same as negative fifteen fifths. Now what's eleven minus fifteen? What? Eleven minus... Yeah, you guys, I'm not sure what some of you are doing. Negative four fifths. Negative four fifths. All right, now I know you guys are a little rusty on that, so speak up. Miss Pliego, you okay with this or not? Aiden, 
I know you got some work to do. You okay with that or not? I don't want you writing down the answer. I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying. This is the most important thing is reviewing everything there is to know about numbers. All right, so now I'm on number 11. What can I do on number 11? What? Yeah, but or we could just do what? Yeah, come on, Aiden. This is what we've been doing now the whole time, and you're telling me to distribute. When we're saying we could just do what? Make the problem easier. Divide. So I want you to write this down. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. Now what happens to those two threes? They cancel out. So I'm left with P minus 1.5 equals. All right, and let's use our mental math here. 3 goes into 13 how many times? 4. 4. Don't forget the decimal. How many is left over when we do the subtraction? 1. So I put 1 in the corner. 3 goes into 15. Beautiful. So that came out to be 4.5. Now I have to do what to both sides? Add 1.5. Now, again, I just want you to be able to tell me the answer. So let me show you how I add 1.5. Look up so I can show you. If I'm doing the mental math on this and I say I have plus 1.5, I just say, well, what's 4 plus 1? 5. What's 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.5? 1. 1. 5 plus 1. Yes, there you go. 6. That's how you should be doing the mental math on that. All right, look at all my work I've got. Look at that on your paper. That's called slop. Not good enough. You get a zero tomorrow. And you get an infraction for not doing your homework. Get to work. Look at that work right there. Perfect. Look at that work. Perfect. Look at your work. You always do A+. Plus. I know you're smart, but you still got to do the work. Get busy. All right, number 12. Here we go. Now, Aiden, what am I going to do on this one? Divide. Thank you. What am I dividing by? Four. Divide by four. Beautiful. All right, now we got great math skills, mental math. So what's 24 divided by four? Uh, that is eight, six. Six. Point. What's eight divided by four? Uh, that is six. Do you see how easy that was? Yeah. Everybody good? P plus 9 equals 6.2. Everybody happy with that? Mm -hmm. Now I have to do what to both sides? Minus 9. Minus 9. All right, now here's the mental math here. Is the answer positive or negative? Negative. negative. Do I, so I put the negative down. Now do I add them or subtract them? Uh, You're subtracting. I know it says... Right? If you have a positive and a negative, you always subtract. Now, I knew the answer was negative because the 9 is bigger than the 6. Do you agree? Yeah. Now, mental math this. Come on, guys. What's 9 minus 6? $3. $3 minus 20 cents. $2.80. That is correct. You just forgot the 2. So that's how I do the mental math on that. So I'm doing negative... 2.8. Carmen, am I helping you with the mental math a little bit on this? Carter? Thomas? Justice, you okay back there? All right, here we go. Let's find uh, 15, 16, and 17. All right, I'm going to put it up here on the board for us. Let's knock it out real quick. And this now you should be good at. All right, because my explanation was, as usual, perfect, right? Yeah. Right? I don't know what you're hesitating <laughs> for. Wow. Thanks. Of course, it's beautiful. All right, here we go. What am I doing here? Hold up. Bradley, let's get you back in the game. What do I have to do first? Ian, help us. He's not with me today. Yeah, you're going to divide by 15 first. So x minus 6 equals. That's why all that work on your paper, you think you know what you're doing. Tomorrow you're going to be lost. 
What type of three? Yes, it should be negative three. Do you still have to write down like the actual problem? You should. All right, then from there, I have to do what to both sides? Add six, thank you. So x equals negative three plus six. Wow. Negative three plus six. All right, here we go. Number 16. All right. Is that right, 16? Yeah. yeah, again, we, we, we skipped something. Justice, tell me what to do. Shh, you have to be quiet. Divide by 7. Divide by 7. And for both sides. Yep, and what do I get? Uh, if you divide 7, or 42 by 7, it equals, is it what? Um, is it this? Yes, positive or negative? Uh, uh, so negative. Yes, sir, thank you. Negative 6. And then you... Add 14. That's correct. What's negative 6 plus 14? And what is 11? Uh, take your time. Uh, oh, uh, D. That is correct. Thank you very much. N equals 8. No one's talking to you, remember? You haven't been paying attention. So now you don't know anything. Now you want to slow me up. Too bad. You just stop talking. Stop talking. I mean it. All right, you can listen to the explanation on number 17. All right, here we go. 17, good for you. What am I doing? Divide by what? I didn't hear you. Yes. And so B plus 5 equals what? Very good. And now what? Which is? Negative. Thank you. Don't worry, kiddo. You've been doing great. B equals negative 11. Joseph, are you good with me still? Right? Um, Aiden, you're kind of a little daydreaming on me over there. Are you okay with this? Yeah. Carter, you're good, right? Thomas, you still with me? Are you going to join me sometime? Because I'm looking at my work right here and looking on your paper. It's not the same. You're going down the page like everyone else is doing. Yeah, we know that. You don't have to tell me. I'm looking. All right, here we go. I'm going to bring 18, 19, and 20. All right, here we go. Hmm. Tell me what to do. Yes, me. Okay, so divide by negative three. Exactly. So what do I get when I divide by negative three? I'm very proud of you, girl. What type? Yes. Now, which one is it? Yeah, you with me, right? And now what? All right, I'll let you write it down. And so, yes, good job. Good job. Sounds good. Thank you. Great. Very good. <laughs> Funny looking. All right, here we go. Let's go. Next, I want to see a fraction. How do I undo this fraction? And what's the reciprocal? Good job, girl. Good job. Here we go. 7 over 2 times 7 over 2. So 4 plus C equals what? Shh. No, I would divide first. 6 divided by 2. Times seven. Thank you. Twenty one. And now what? Yes. So C equals. 
Yeah. Somewhere around there. What is yeah. 17, 18, 17. All right, here we go. Number 20. No, you're not doing anymore. You're playing around way too much today, and I'm going to send an email to your mom. How's that? All right, Ian, what am I doing? Oh, that's it. Now, listen. Um, here we go. Yeah, you guys got this. Practice, practice. All right, the solutions are posted. Go back and review them.